morning everyone. So basically, I'm hoping you're all well. I am on my way to Heathrow right now. Um, no, I'm not going on holiday. It's like 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday morning. It's not that early, but considering it's a Sunday, it feels really early. Um, basically, I'm going to pick up my internet friend, Lucia, which is so exciting. I just had to stop recording because he was being really loud um, with the whole thing. But I'm going to Heathrow and I'm picking up my friend Lucia, who I've never actually met. So we've been friends now for like five years. I want to say we were like 16, 17, like before I went to uni, I was doing A-levels. She has a YouTube channel, obviously I do. We just became internet friends, like solid friends. And she's from America. She's coming, she's going to be in London for like four days, but she's actually done a video on her channel. She's actually doing a, a term in Paris in winter or a semester in fall if you're American. So she's studying there, but she's come to Europe a few months early to backpack around. She's starting off in London for four days with me and yeah I'll let you go watch her video because she'll explain the whole thing she's gonna be doing such exciting videos but I thought I would vlog the next four days but yeah I'm just on my way to the airport to get her and meet her I'm so excited like as if we've never met um, the tiredness isn't there at all because I'm so excited but yeah I can't wait London is literally like a ghost town as well the weather's really really nice it was like 35 degrees yesterday yesterday like Saturday was like one of the hottest days of the year now it's not as hot but it's just gonna be the nicest few days because the weather's nice as well we've not actually got like loads and loads oh god you can tell it's early i can't speak we've not actually got like loads and loads of stuff planned because we haven't really got an itinerary or anything is that how you say that word but we are going to go to brighton one of the days because she really wants to go to brighton which excites me because it's one of my favorite places also my hair looks a mess it is in plaits but it, I have been sleeping on it, so it's a bit frizzy. Anyway, I'm so excited. Oh my God, Toy Story 4. Has anyone seen Toy Story 4? I love Toy Story, but apparently it's not as good as the other ones. Uh, I'm vlogging on my phone. I have brought my camera, but it's just too excited. And I feel like she's literally gonna be here any minute. So I've got to Heathrow. I, her plane has just landed. She's a little bit delayed, but her plane's just landed. And I'm just waiting at the arrival. Gate. I finally got here. It actually didn't take me that long to get here. But it's really cute. There's lots of people stood with like flowers and stuff. I feel like I should buy some. <laughs> but yeah, she's landed and I'm waiting. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna film you because you're probably alive. I've been, been on the longest flight. I was gonna tell you, I was like, like <laughs> before I got on the flight, I was gonna be like, by the way, I look like complete shit. But then no, I was like, maybe I shouldn't say that. No, you don't. So I, I, I oh feel like I'm so excited. Everyone was like really emotional. Like, <laughs> Wait, I, I was like, if you ever, give me this, give me this. <laughs> she here, we get the tube. So I was just trying to explain what an oyster is. So she's envisioning an actual oyster. <laughs> So, we're gonna, I was like, we need to get you an oyster card for the tube. Was she was like, like oysters, like the, the fish thing? <laughs> Basically that. You're in London! <laughs> How happy are you? I almost choked. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're heading to Buckingham Palace. Yay! And we're getting the tube. She has already been on the tube, but I didn't document that. So, I'm gonna document. So, we'll return it to the first time. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, so we're on our way to Buckingham Palace and then James is here as well. He's like the tall guy in the red t-shirt. He's completely left oh. us. Oh, look at me doing this. Oh, like I, like I know. Oh wait, mine's not even working. Oh, oh wait. Yay, I mean that took like 10 hours, but yeah, so take her to Buckingham Palace. I think we're gonna go around like Oxford Street, Piccadilly Circus, Comet Garden, all these, all the, Piccadilly, all the cool places. She's not really heard of anything over than Buckingham Palace. So, no I'm sure you'll. <laughs> you have to stand on this side. We're like the same height now. I'm very small compared to this. <laughs> yeah, we knew that though. Yeah, we did. But I knew you, I'm a giant. Um, James, I didn't realize you were so tall. I knew you were tall, but I didn't realize you were so tall. Yeah. Yeah. He's six foot eight. Like, wow. how tall are you? Me? I'm five three and three eights. Five three and three eights. Wow, you are really small. <laughs> every, every Get ready for this. <laughs> Get ready for this when we like level out. Hi, Lucia. 
<laughs> it's not sunk in, has it, that you're in London? No, not yet. It feels so weird that she's actually here. I know. But like, and I at think... the same time, like, it doesn't feel like this is the first time we've met. No, I feel like we've, we've we already so long for like five so years, so like, yeah. Yeah. It just feels like we knew each other anywhere. Yeah. But I said when you see all like the main sites and stuff, that's when you're gonna be like, oh my god, I'm in London. First touristy destination, Buckingham Palace. Wait, I need to vlog. Come to visit the Queen. Oh, I figured this was the only place she really had heard of. Yeah, seriously. So it was like the best right, place to come right now. now. Oh, hi, James. Hello. So, FYI, this is my favorite drink ever. James, stop. We're gonna go in here. Do you wanna go in paper chase? Have you heard of the shop? I think we have this in America. So this is the mint chocolate chip frostina. It's the nicest drink ever. Every summer, this is all I live for. Literally, I'm so happy about this. My hair's gone very frizzy, very intense, but this is only my second one of the year. How good am I? Anyone who knows me knows how many I drink, and I'm pacing my little self. What are you shopping for? Me? Well, Pretend shopping for all these journals because I can't buy anything because Aww. I don't have any room. <laughs> oh, that's bed. true. And I also bought a notebook for this trip already. But if I was just here, in, you know, with all the room in the, in world, the world, you can leave stuff at mine though. Oh, yeah, paper chase is cool. I didn't realize they had it in America. Oh, oh rainbow. A little, bit. Mm. a little bit. What does it mean? <laughs> I think I think a little bit they have paper chase. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit over there, but I don't know. Katniss is power. Good shots. You're gonna have all the good footage because you're like remembering to vlog, and mine are gonna be like. Blue tears, like, oh my god. Clip. Ooh, it's a bit blurry. Oh, wait. Are you supposed to do that with your finger? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> well, that's what we're doing on this channel. So, we're going for a Sunday roast, which we've been trying to explain to Lucia what it is. I guess I kind of get it, but like not. It, I probably just have to experience it, which I'm you about to. Yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know what the nut roast It's such is. a British thing. Oh, wow. Thanks, Fletcher. Wow. wow. We got that here now as well. Um, so we're going for a roast. I took my plaits out because I look like a scarecrow. This is all Matt's lovely work. He plaited it yesterday when it was wet still. So we're all nice and curly. But yeah, I'm excited for Lucia to have her first roast. I feel like when my mum and dad watch this, dad's going to get really excited. Am I really zoomed in? <laughs> I am. It's fine. I love when that happens in your videos. All the time. Oh my god, I'm in your videos. Oh my god, I just hit your head. I'm yeah, so that was sorry. a bit hot. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. now I should be vlogging. You're reminding me. Yeah. I had to vlog this moment. This is the nicest dessert ever. Sticky toffee pudding. I'm not going to repeat what I just said, but it is divine. I'm the only reaction, ready? My reaction when eating them. <laughs> A very happy gal right now anyway. So we've got a little bit of rosé wine and we are introducing Lucia to Love Island. She's so British. She has no idea what it is. <laughs> I've kind of tried to explain what it is, but... Do you see them in the house or is it just... You the... see them in the villa. It all happens in the villa. Do you have Big Brother? I was just going to say, it's like... I it's kind of, any of it's kind of like Big Brother, and, Big Brother and like the Bachelor, whatever you said. That kind of vibe, but this is just what takes over the whole nation every June, July. Every day over then Saturdays. I'm a television major and I'm like... This is mind-blowing. It's so much So content. much editing and like the process. I guess process. Like for the rest of the year, those people like have other projects and stuff. And exactly, like yeah. Thing, this is... I think it's just June and July every year. The whole of the UK goes mad for it. But I've got the boys into it. Yeah. <laughs> Matt and James now watch it. James is, yeah, but it is kind of a bit. It's a bit good. Like it's like it's like bad. It's bad good TV. Maybe it's in America. I don't. I don't watch uh, reality TV. So. <laughs> I'm really zoomed in right now on your pup. <laughs> it's happening, Casa Amor. Lucia's is like, what's Casa Amor? What is it? <laughs> oh, um, House of Love. It is, yeah, yeah Casa Amor. Casa Amor. But that's the opposing villa with all the new people in that they're going to get mixed up with. And the old boys are going to go separate when they're in a couple and then they brought new boys. It's going to be major drama because boys are going to be turning their heads, girls are going to be turning their heads. Oh my god, this is really so dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic, it needs to be. 
<gasps> Curtis. Yes, I do. Curtis is good. Head's gonna be turned off, Amy. Do you guys say that head's gonna be turned? Yeah. So like your head could be turned by someone else. Yeah. It's like a is that a British expression? Oh, is the American equivalent of that? I don't know, head like be turned. Like Tempted by someone else, I don't know. Like, I don't think they have a turn, like one turn. Either. It's like these are new girls, and these are the old boys who are already in couples. What is going on? Unless it's in America, and I just don't I don't know. think it is, but check it out if so. Hello everyone! Hi. Hi. So it's the next day. We are at Oxford Street. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping. We did come here briefly yesterday, but you've not. We said, I wanna take it to like Boots or Superdrug. Oh, and Topshop is right there. And we could go in Topshop. Like she was saying this morning, her 14 year old self would be like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Superdrug. But I feel like we'll just go in. We say shopping, we're just gonna be browsing, let's yeah, be real. We're, buying <laughs> we're not buying anything. Oh, we should find a food place. Yeah, and we're gonna have brunch somewhere. <laughs> We're gonna have a wonder in Covent Garden. She's never heard of Covent Garden, but we're gonna have a wonder around there. Is it but an actual park garden? It's not a park, no. I don't actually know what it is, but it's nice and I think you'll like it. But there's more shops there as well. But yeah, we're gonna go in Top Shop. Let's cross here quickly. But yeah, we're gonna look in a few shops that may excite her. Oh, there's Urban. Urban Outfitters, yeah. I have um, an Urban Outfitters gift card and I tried to look up if it would transfer over to Europe, but I don't think it does, so I didn't bring it. It's oh, like $70. Oh, that would have been such a nice yeah, spend. But I, I didn't want to bring it and then lose it and then, and then not be able so to spend money. it anyway, yeah. That's only like one thing at Urban Outfitters, but never mind. I should update my. But we're gonna have a little nursery in all the shops and stuff. I love how everything's like decorated for pride as well. Here we are. Like, there's all like the rainbow. Hi, everyone. There's all like the rainbow spots and everything. We'll go in this door here. Okay. But yeah, that's what we're doing. So, Lucia's lovely dress, which was how much? Like a pound? One dollar. One dollar. Thrift store, thrift. So, we are currently in the nicest little park. On the nicest street. On I the nicest live here. street. <laughs> we were literally just walking like towards like uh, Parliament and like Westminster to show her that area. And she was like, here, can we go down this street? Like, looks really nice. And it was, it's so pretty. It's near like the Corinthian Hotel it's or something. It's amazing. It reminds me of Rome, but the good parts of Rome, like not the really I get that. parts. Because yeah. even I said, I feel like I was abroad and obviously I'm not, but. And I was like, here, I, I'm abroad. You're, you're abroad, <laughs> so it's fine. And she was like, oh, can we go over the bridge? And then we stumbled up on this little park. Just took a really cute Polaroid of Lucia on the grass, which is wet, but she's doing it for the old gram. <laughs> Do it for the Instagram. <laughs> I think, are you going to eat your cake now as well? Yeah, well maybe you said something. Oh, we didn't vlog, we went in Superdrug as well, which was <laughs> yeah. cool. I've won the going to Boots, I think Boots will be more Boots exciting. Boots is more exciting for you, yeah. I did buy something. I really like Essie nail polish. I'm literally, I have none of this colour, the shade left. I've had it over a year. No, nearly a year. And it's all tied up. <laughs> Funny name. So I've got that one and it was two for £12, bearing in mind the £9 each. So I picked up this one in the shade Maximilian Strass, her weird name, but it's like a blue shade. So I've literally got such a bargain. I never buy these full price. I will never buy them full price. So I'm really happy about that. Yeah, do you want to walk over the bridge or do you want to eat your cake now? I want to just love to take <laughs> this park. We need to, maybe we need to go to Hyde Park at some point. I'm trying to like plan what we're gonna do. I'm literally, I need to delete footage of this SD Ooh, card. We can sit right there. And you can eat your cake. She got a lemon tart. Oh, I haven't even explained. We were, we basically ate in Covent Garden in this cute little French little cafe. French cuisine is not my cuisine. I have to put it out there. I just had Nutella on toast, which was very nice. Uh, but Lucia had a salad, a goat's cheese salad. And okay, the camera cut out because I needed to delete footage. But. What was I saying? Yeah, so French cafe. She didn't want to eat it there, but she knew she'd want to eat it later. That face that you like. <laughs> so she's got the cheeky. Lem it looks like cheese. It's a lemon tart, lovely jumbly. So we're gonna enjoy that with this nice view. It's so nice, it's so nice. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go to Brighton. We've booked our trains and everything. So having tomorrow in Brighton, Oh my <laughs> god, guys, I'm first inside. Look at this, is oh please god. focus. Is it gonna oh That is god. so nice. I love it on the Polaroid because of the colour. Yeah. 
Yeah. You look like some like 60s or 50s like oh girl. God, oh my god, that's it. so nice. Wait, I need to take a picture of it with this in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah, while well, you're here, it. that is very cool. And then on Wednesday, I thought of taking her to like Notting Hill area because I think you'll really like it. Yeah. And I want to take her around like Kensington. Like I want to show her like really nice houses and like architecture because I think you'll really like I, that. I love architecture and I don't think I ever realized that until I started traveling yeah I'm like that I appreciate it so yeah, much like in America in Philly all the architecture is nice so I don't really like I always I'm like oh my god it's nice but I never really think about it because I see it every so day you see it every day and see to it yeah yeah whereas now it's like oh my god like, yeah, this is that and the other so exciting so I think you'll really like the stuff we see on Wednesday that's we've not been to that area yet I'm trying to like take her out everywhere but there's London's so big like she's coming back in you're gonna be here briefly in August, but then in December, that's gonna be exciting. For a week for Christmas, right? right well, right before Christmas. Right before Christmas, yeah. And then yeah. I go back to America. So there's, I can, yeah, there's always gonna be, there's lots to see, but I think we've got all the, like, the main things. Something very exciting is happening. Where are we, Lucia? Sainsbury's. We're in like, Sainsbury's. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> We're in Sainsbury's. Um, she's yet to have gone in like a British supermarket. This is just the nearest one near my house. Yeah, Even I'm though I like British. Tesco, I prefer Tesco, but. This is the most exciting thing. Some like, of the best shopping you do is at the supermarket. Yeah, definitely. But like, this is like the best thing for me when I go to a different country. Is seeing what food they have and like just the style. Of, oh, are these the best? Yeah, we need one of those. So I, the only thing she wants is apples. But I was thinking for a video, I might like buy her some like British food bits and get her to try them. I think one should be fine. Or should I, yeah, one should be fine. Do, do, Will they think that I got this here? No, you're fine. It's fine. So yeah, welcome to Sainsbury's. Now we're gonna go, we definitely need to go to the chocolate aisle. Yes. Like the candy aisle. Um, Do you not say candy? We say sweets. Oh my God. So, I know, I would say I know what candy is, but like, yeah, we say sweets. I also need to get granola. I'm so excited for you, but she's in Sainsbury's. She's in Sainsbury's, what the <laughs> hell? Look at Lucia in Sainsbury's getting her British products. <laughs> it's so exciting. They package apples. They we package them. She's so confused that we put <laughs> apples in packaging and that we have sell by dates, like best before dates on fruit and stuff. I wish we had that. My mom could stop buying fruit that expires. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks nice on the camera too. So it's Monday night and we are now going out for Lucia's first legal drink <laughs> ever. Because obviously it's 21 in America and it's 18 here, so we're gonna have lots of fun. We're just going local tonight because it's a Monday night. We're just gonna go for a few drinks, and it's really nice out. The cheers wearing my jacket. Yeah, it's so warm, and it look it looks really cute. And her nice Urban Outfitters dress that is literally a top on me. I know I'm a giant, <laughs> but it is You're not, not a giant. Yeah, but I am You're proportional to the me. You <laughs> are. We wouldn't know any different, That's what obviously. I tell my best friend Sabine, she's six foot and she is always like, oh, so I'm she's so taller than big. me then. And I'm like, You're not no, girl. You're really so proportional Own to the it. size. Yeah, literally. You are. That's true. But compared to you, like, she's it was so a top. skinny and tall and beautiful. And then she's like, I'm big. And I'm like, You're just proportionate, proportionate to you. So, yeah. Like, so am I. It's like, fine. Yeah, literally. I must admit that when I'm vlogging, I'm like very like aware I'm like this. Uh, and you're like, <laughs> so this is Lucia's first ever drink in a foreign country. I've chosen her. We're not going too hard because obviously she said she didn't like the taste of alcohol. So I went for a cider, strawberry, and lime because I think she'll really enjoy it because it doesn't taste like alcohol. I went for the same. I'm so excited. I'm more excited than Lucia. Oh, of course, I'm getting you your first drink, like obviously. But I feel like this is a good shout because. I feel like it's does it's not alcoholic at all. Yeah. But it is, so you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Let's pour. Boom, boom, boom. I'm so excited for you. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, like what how much do I don't even know. Like I wonder if it, it's a pint, like or maybe it's more than a pint. It's honestly oh, pint. This is a lot, yeah. yeah. Oh no, I pressed record. 
damn. I didn't wait till the next chorus. It's coming soon. It's coming, it's coming. This lip gloss <laughs> is popping. Sorry. Mac. Ooh, this lighting. This is good. Starving till I tasted you. Just started playing this song. I was like, I know this song. Came down with the kids, you know. So, Lucia enjoyed her first legal drink. It was a just cider. To be clear, it wasn't my first drink. Like, oh I yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first time it's ever been legal. Obviously, because it's 21 in America. She's yeah. currently 20. But yeah. let me tell you this amazing story. So basically, it is amazing. Lucia's birthday is on the 1st of January, oh, yes. right? So she turns 21 on the 1st of January 2020, that's cool. Yeah. So she's gonna like have a New Year's party. I was telling everyone your life. She's gonna have a New Year's party at home and then when it strikes midnight, she's going out for her first legal. <laughs> it's not really a party. Like my parents had their friends over, so it's kind of like a bunch of 60 year olds and like, <laughs> some of my friends. But my best friend Sabine is gonna go with me literally when the clock strikes big night midnight. You're going out for I'm the first time an and going to a gay club. Oh my god, it's just round here. So we're going to this pub now that is like it's got an arcade upstairs. I like arcade games. I've been here only once before, but it was so cool. It's called the Four Feast. Is that gonna focus? Four Feast in Clapham. Honestly, it's so much fun. I'm so excited for you to experience this right now. Okay, I'm excited. She's got the old wine. Lucia has got a vodka, lime, and lemonade. I'm very happy because she likes it. I was, she was saying, oh, don't like vodka, but it's because she was shutting it all the time. I was like, you I need lemonade. In college, you have disgusting cheap beer that no one likes, and you have shots. And that's it. That's so you, you, like, I was like, you bring it that's to a bar, and she likes I it. I that stuff. With this, I'm like, oh, okay. Woo, this is good. And we're going to these bad boys. I'm so excited. Here. We're on motorbikes, guys. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can see us kind of okay. Thank you. Right, let's do this. Your vlog's gonna be so much better than mine, and you live here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the talkers right now, you are. It's finally spontaneous. I'm not so worried about getting on the footage because it's not like being to watch this. Yeah, I don't have this. Oh, yeah, yes. Okay, let's play. I'm gonna win. So you put it, you are gonna win, I'm terrible. I'm not very good at it. This is so exciting. Go on your own. Yeah, you're my I'll, what? You're all my okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm filming the lovely red wall. Yeah, Lucia's bike. She's just parked up. She's going to the toilet. Are you gonna leave me on my own? Yeah. So I'm just, my yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna, just gonna vlog to myself. <laughs> you said it was Yeah, I know. I know. Bye, bye. You have fun peeing. She left. <laughs> so basically, we're now playing. Guess who? How fab is this? There's like loads of board games over there, and we're playing Guess Who. Lucia, you had to, you had to. Me too, me too. But we don't have any board games at home, which yeah. makes me sad. We but bought, um, what's it 
what's it called, uh, Rummy Cube. I think I was telling you, I can't remember what I was telling you about that. We played at the Chabad house at No, you did um, yeah. Um, yeah, because I go to Shabbat every Friday night at the Chabad house, which is, I don't feel like explaining it right now, but like, it's Yeah, a every, everyone's going to be watching this, like, what do you want about? <laughs> You know, Jewish people, you'll understand. Um, but they have this game called Rummy Cube, and it's so fun. And I was talking about it when I came home from college because we don't um, we don't practice and celebrate Shabbat at home really. So I was like missing Shabbat, and I was missing Rummy Cube. And I first came home, my mom was like, "Let's buy it." Yeah. It's a really cute toy store at my beach town that I work at. at Avalon. So yeah. It's in Harvard, but like it's a neighboring town, and we got it, and it's so fun. I I love board games too. This is yeah. so nice to play. I used to play this as well. I'm glad they had it in America as well as like here. That's pretty cool. We both know what it is. But Lucia did have to reteach me what it was because I was yeah. confused. And we're missing people. This is drunk people in this pub <laughs> destroying the game. So I just introduced yeah. Lucia to Cluda. I played it. Yeah, it's been a while for me as well. It's just Clue. It's Which is so in America. Cute. Why take out the duh? Why have we had a duh? I don't know. But it's been a while. I was reading the instructions for like 35 minutes. I used to play with James and my grandma, and my grandma used to always set it up for us to play. So I had to do that. I was like, what the hell is going on? But I realized I got the right things. I set up right. I'm buzzing.